Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Officially with season three reloaded, we saw the universal health update go live, meaning that now, whether you're playing on Caldera or on Rebirth, we have 300 total health in a gunfight if somebody is fully plated up which of course means the TTK is going to be slower for every single weapon in the game. And every single gun in the game requires, you know, two to four or five shots extra to kill now compared to before. And because of that sort of coinciding with certain meta changes that we've seen over the course of the past couple of seasons, we now have a very awkward meta where before with 250 health, there was a very open and very diverse meta. And now that very open and very diverse meta is kind of dwindling to a point where the meta's a bit broken in my opinion today i wanted to break down why that is sort of explain how it's broken and then also what can be done to fix it because i feel like i have some solid ideas as we go through it all if you enjoy the video at any point let me know by dropping a like on it and if you're new to the channel or if you have not already subscribed every day i got you covered with everything going on in cod so feel free to hit that sub button and turn on those post notifications so just initially here real quick i do want to look over our general tier list before we get into actual data to look at certain things because this is a general representation of where the meta currently stands and you'll notice there's a very clear uh sort of agenda in the top meta area vanguard guns just plain and simple which is strange because when vanguard first dropped the Vanguard meta wasn't really there. The general meta, I should say, was still dominated by a lot of Cold War and Modern Warfare guns. When the sales were important for Vanguard, which is the first like three months of the game, Vanguard guns in Warzone weren't all that great. Now though, where sales really for Vanguard are not all that important, they're looking towards Modern Warfare 2 now because Vanguard just was not a great game from a sales standpoint. It's interesting that clearly there is a Vanguard agenda going on, it seems like, because we've seen significant nerfs to weapons that should not have received significant nerfs, in my opinion. The Amax, the Lapa, guns that did not have a great pick rate, just obliterated for no real reason, whereas now clearly close range, dominated by Vanguard guns. Long range, STG, Bar, Automaton. Uh, we even have things like the Type 11, the DP27 that are dominating there. The Sniper meta, I mean, the three line is fantastic now. So is the HDR and AX50, but sniping in general is not really super, I, I guess it's not thriving. That's a good way to put it because the health changes. So we went from a meta where you could use so many different guns, especially on Rebirth with like the 250 health. You could use the MAC-10 if you wanted to. You could use the AUG, the Bullfrog. You could even use some viable weapons in here. Uh, the M16, the AUG, the SA-87 if you wanted to, the P90. Uh, but now because the health changes and because there hasn't been updates to weapons like this to make them actual, com actually competitive in a uh, 300 health scenario, we get stuck on a meta that is very defined and not super diverse which based off of what the devs have said previously is not their end goal so something we can actually look at here on warzone ranked is of course what weapons have the highest kd and what weapons have the highest win rate the pick rate of course is semi-important clearly there are a lot of vanguard guns at the top but also the reason that i'm hesitant to solely rely on pick rate for certain things is because we also have weapons like the kilo and the m4 and the milana which are up here in the top half or top portion of what's picked the most and none of those guns are very good right now the kilo it feels good and that's why players want to use it that's why it has a two percent pick rate right now like close to the hdr and the type 100 and the well gun and whatnot because it's nostalgic and players like that or they just don't have vanguard guns unlocked but it's not a meta gun it's not even a competitive gun it's really not all that special m4 kind of the same deal milano got nerfed where it was actually well the only place it was good not a meta gun anymore they're still picked decently high though because they're somewhat nostalgic but not meta now you also have all these other guns down here that are picked under one percent that could be meta if they saw slight changes but like i said kd wise what do we see what's the common denominator here between all the highest kd weapons vanguard 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 takes until the ugr to get any weapon that's not vanguard here then we get vanguard 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 there's so many up here above that one percent kd or one kd win percent vanguard 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 all the way again to the ugr and like the vargo so Clearly, Vanguard guns are dominating the meta, and because of the changes with the health uh, that have buffed Vanguard guns and then nerfed other guns, we now are stuck in this not-so-healthy, somewhat broken meta. So how do you change that? Well, in one way, I want to talk about magazine capacity, because Warzone does have a mag capacity problem now that we have 300 HP. You have weapons like the Scar and the Odin, for instance, and I want to compare them to the STG and the Vargo here, where STG and Vargo, look at their TTKs through the first 50 meters. They're not close to the Scar and the Odin. The Scar and the Odin kill so fast with 300 health. 
why does nobody use these because you're stuck with 30 rounds which is literally not usable in anything outside of solos uh duos you're pushing it trios unusable quads absolutely unusable on either map now because the health updates you absolutely open up the meta so much more simply by adding 45 rounds onto the odin 45 50 rounds onto the scar sure their recoil is not great but their ttk players will look towards weapons like this and get used to those higher recoil patterns like for instance the amax that's why it was so good because even though it had bad recoil a great ttk but there's no point in using any of the small mag weapons in the game right now and we haven't seen capacity increases really to anything but vanguard guns uh the bar just got some we've seen other vanguard weapons have mags uh increased in size nothing really with any weapons that have been ignored for quite some time that could absolutely one simple change increasing a magazine could make a gun competitive i don't even think these would be top meta because they're control but there's no point in using them now whereas if they had better mags absolutely as we clearly saw on the meta tier list as well vanguard subs dominate close range the owen gun the mp40 the type 100 the well gun so on and so forth there's no point in using any non-vanguard sub right now why is that well mac 10 let's take that as an example for a lot of the cold war subs it has a relatively competitive ttk and honestly over range it's the best but past 30 meters you're not necessarily looking to use subs in that range and then where it's supposed to be good where subs are supposed to be dominant while it's somewhat competitive it's also clearly getting outgunned in ways that just aren't matchable in game uh when you have 10 attachments on all these vanguard subs that make it so they have no recoil and great mobility and great mag capacity and a great ttk a gun that only has decent mobility and a decent ttk is not going to be able to compete there you look at the uzi it's the same uh conversation as with the rifles it the, it the best build here maxes out at 32 rounds it's not usable versus the 70 that you can use on an owen gun or the 48 even that you can use on a type 100 and its ttk is really not all that competitive somewhat through you know 18 meters but same thing as with the mag 10 there over range it really sucks so you have so many other weapons that just with a slight tune to maybe their damage by one or two percent in certain cases even or increasing their magazine capacity or simply nerfing some of the vanguard guns they've talked a lot about how they don't want the ttk to get any faster they like the place where it's at if you want that general broad meta very diverse meta you'd have to nerf some of these vanguard guns that have now taken over for a long time vanguard guns especially the rifles were well balanced because they didn't have great ttks but they were laser beams so while the xm4 kills faster the stg had so much less recoil that you were landing more shots at the stg and your realistic ttk was better but now the stg has great damage and no recoil and the xm4 has been nerfed in all areas recoil and damage and suddenly it's a very flip-flopped and inverse meta that doesn't really feel very uh diverse or open whatsoever so in my opinion the warzone meta is broken simply because there's not enough attention on adjusting cold war and modern warfare weapons previously raven has said they don't really have an interest in adjusting the cold war modern warfare weapons because they felt like they were in a good place and then we saw quite a few strange adjustments to those weapons specifically while we've pretty much only seen buffs to any vanguard gun that was not incredibly broken so i hope to see some changes here especially as we near the end of the warzone one life cycle where you could use a wide variety of guns here from any game while we also have a decent ttk speed with 300 health i don't know let me know what you guys think down in the comments below what would you do to change the current meta and make it more balanced and more open uh but that said that is going to wrap things up for today hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did let me know by dropping a like on it and if you're new here or if you have not already subscribed every day i got you covered with everything going on in cod so feel free to hit that sub button and turn on those post notifications but once again thank you so much for tuning in and until next time take it easy have an awesome rest of your day and i'll catch you guys later peace out